difficult terrain game is found in the growing up gallery of the National Museum of Singapore. It was often played by the children in the 1950s. Children would throw hoops over the various bird images to gain points. Each bird was worth different points as indicated by the number on their respective image. The player with the highest accumulated score wins the game. The hoop throwing game is similar to the traditional game of quoits. Quoits originated in Greece where flat, solid disc or stone or metal was thrown over a distance as a trial of strength or skill. In this tutorial, we'll teach you how to create your own hoop throwing game featuring birds from the William Farker collection of natural history drawings at the National Museum of Singapore. You can use images or illustrations of birds or even magazine cutouts. If you don't have these at home, you can also draw birds inspired by this collection. I'll show you how. For those who prefer a template to work on, you can also download our printable template. Let's begin! Let's look for some materials. You will need watercolour paint or crayons, a pencil and eraser, a permanent marker, a pair of scissors, some glue, some cardboard that you can get from cereal boxes on the back of your art drawing block. If you can find some magazine cutout of birds, or if you don't have any, you can print out images of your favourite birds. And lastly, if you have pipe cleaner at home, we can use that to make the hoop. Alternatively, you can also download and print out a template to create the game. If you have magazines or printouts of your favourite birds, go ahead and cut them out like this. You can choose four or five of them for this game. So stick each bird on a piece of cardboard, but make sure that you have enough cardboard at the bottom to fold to make a base. This base should be wide enough to balance the bird without toppling it over. Once you have glued or taped the bird down, you can create a scoring system by assigning points to each bird. For example, you can choose to give the various birds points of 20, 30, 40, 50 and 100. You can write the name of the points at the bottom corner of the cardboard and decorate it. If you prefer to design your own bird drawings, grab your cardboard, pencil and marker ready. I'll teach you how to do a simple drawing of some of the birds in the William Farquhar collection in the National Museum. We'll use a pencil to create an outline of the bird first before adding details with marker later. You will be drawing the birds directly on the cardboard, but you can draw on paper to stick on the cardboard if preferred. Let's start with the magpie robin. It's a beautiful bird with black and white feathers. It is perched on a rock with its head tilted up as it is singing. Get your cardboard and pencil ready and let's begin drawing the magpie robin together. First we'll start with marking out a base that is wide enough so your bird will not topple over. Let's start with an oval shape for its head. Next, add a beak in a long and thin V shape like this. Draw a long oval shape for the body, then add a tail with two long lines and U shapes to connect them. Draw the wings with a small V shape and another big one. Next, draw two straight lines for the legs and add in the claws. Finally, let's draw an eye with a circle and a smaller one in the middle. Now you can use your marker to outline the bird. When outlining, you can ignore overlapping lines such as the lines on the neck and tail. Let's add the details of its feathers now. Draw this U-shaped pattern on its neck and wings and use straight lines for the wings and tail. Finish up by adding a rock for your mat Kai Robin to perch on and remember to erase the pencil lines. Our next bird is a very common species of bird in Singapore. This is the brown-throated sunbird. So let's start by drawing the base again. With a pencil, let's draw an oval shape for the sunbird's head. 
Draw a long oval for its body. Add a long and thin V shape for its bill. The sunbird's bill curves downwards, allowing it to reach into flowers to feed on their nectar. They are very good pollinators. Add a wing using a long oval with a sharp end extending out from the body. Draw another wing with a V shape. Add a rounded rectangle for the tail. Finish off its leg with a U shape and two lines, followed by the claws. Next, use your marker to outline the bird, and again, skip the overlapping lines on the neck, beak, and tail. Let's draw the patterns on its feathers. It is scallop shaped with a longer U shape after. Finish off with lines and your bird is complete. You can also draw it reaching into a flower to feed on the nectar. Remember to erase the pencil lines. Let's draw an expert. This is the majestic colored kingfisher. It is a medium sized bird and you can easily recognize it by its turquoise colored feathers and white belly. So let's start by drawing the base again. Start with an oval for the face. Next, draw its beak in a long and thin V shape like this. Add a long oval shape for the body. Let's draw its tail with two lines and join it up like this. Add its wing using a long oval with a sharp end at the bottom. Next, draw its legs with two lines and finish with its claws. Now you can add in its eye using a circle. Next, use your marker to outline the bird, and again, skip the overlapping lines on the neck, beak, and tail. Let's add the feather patterns and lines that can be found on the collared kingfisher's head and neck. Erase the pencil lines and you are done. Let's draw our next bird. It is a small bird and has a quirky habit of hanging upside down. Can you guess what it is? This is a blue crowned hanging parrot. Using a pencil, let's start with the base. And then for its head, let's use a circle. Next, draw a long oval for its body. The beak of the parrot is shorter and more curved. Use a C shape for the beak. Draw a wing using a long oval with a V-shape at the end. Add tail feathers by drawing two V-shapes here. You can add in its eye with a circle. Now we can draw the branch that it's hanging from. Draw two lines going across the bird. We will then draw its claws with four small ovals, two here and another two here, and repeat for the other side. You can now use your marker to outline your drawing. Now add some lines for its tail and wing. Erase the pencil lines and you are finished with your blue crown hanging parrot. Now for our last bird. You may have spotted this bird in a park before. It has distinctive red comb on its head. It's a red jungle fowl. Let's start by drawing its base again. Draw a small oval for the head and add a red comb with a zigzag pattern on top of its head. Draw the beak with a C shape. Next, draw two lines for its neck and an oval for its body. Add two lines for its wing and join it up like this. Draw its tail feathers with U shapes and then draw longer ones with a curve and V-shapes. Add in its legs and claws. Now use your marker to outline your red jungle fowl. Skip the connecting lines on its beak, neck and tail. The painting shows very detailed patterns from the red jungle file, so let's add some of that using scallop patterns and lines for the wings.
Erase the pencil lines and your red jungle file is complete. After drawing, go ahead to paint or color your birds. Notice the different colors on their body and tail. After you're done painting and coloring, cut out the birds and fold along the base. Now let's make your hoop. You can easily make them out of paper or cardboard. Draw a circle big enough to fit around your birds and another circle around it. Cut along the outer line and cut the inside of your circle by making a small incision like this. Alternatively, if you have pipe cleaners at home, you can also bend and twist them to form hoops instead. Now you're all done! Place your birds in any arrangement you like. Stand a distance away, aim, and throw your hoops around the birds and count your points. You can also make it more challenging by standing further away. You can also use tape or some blue tack on the base of your birds to make it steadier. Other than using magazine printouts or drawing your own birds, you can also download our printable template from the web link below. Just follow the instructions to assemble the birds, colour them in, and you are ready to play. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. We have more videos lined up for you using objects that you can easily find at home. Visit the web link below for a new release every Friday at 10am. See you again soon!